Hi guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. I know I have been been updating a lot recently because I was a little bit preoccupied with my personal business. As for the reason why, maybe one day I'll tell you guys in a vlog of some sort. But anyway, I'm back with a new video inspired by you guys because I have found that recently a lot of people comment down on one of the videos that I made which is about Chinese people are lying down due to the stress and the competitive environment they are facing nowadays. So, I thought I'm going to introduce you guys another phenomenon that Chinese young people are super crazy about and it's also about releasing their, you know, pressure and stress in this fast, rapid developing world. So, I'm going to show you guys something. Can you sort of like guess what these things could possibly be? Now this is our topic today and though you might think those are toys, which is correct. Now toys in Chinese we call it as wan ju, wan ju. Uh, but if I'm going to ask you, do you know what I'm getting from these two boxes? Your answer might be, oh you're getting what this cover is showing you. Nope, that's not what I'm getting. As a matter of fact, I don't know what I got from these two boxes. That's the whole point of these boxes. These boxes are the new phenomenon that we are talking about today. They are called mang he, mang he, which literally means blind box because you don't know what you are getting. It's kind of like a really intriguing psychological process. You will experience either disappointment or excitement after you've seen this. Now if whatever toys that you are getting do not really match any of the patterns here, then congratulations, you are getting the hidden edition. Now a hidden edition not only can complete your entire collection but also it's a lot more expensive on the market than its real price. For example, if you are getting the hidden edition, the price will sour up to maybe over some crazy ones could over a thousand RMB which is definitely over a hundred US dollars. So that's the crazy part about those uh, 潮流玩具. We call it as 潮流玩具 because they are not the traditional ones. And speaking of 潮流玩具, not only just those like cute design toys could be 潮流玩具, but also I'm going to show you something else. But also these kind of things, like this is a uh, picking opera kind of style puppets. This could be, uh, this could also be part of 潮流玩具. It really depends on how you design it and how you define it. Uh, some people don't really consider this as one, but I would say they are all sort of th uh, sort of similar. Except that this one doesn't really come in a manhe, you know what you're buying. Collecting those toys, Shoutang Chaoliuanju, has become a new trend for a lot of Chinese young people. Uh, so, I don't know, comment down below and let me know where you buy something that you don't even know what's in it. Or you find the idea of finding the hidden edition is equally exciting. Uh, in your opinion. So comment down below and let me know and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye!